The unfortunate death of my father, Governor-elect Eugene Talmadge, it became incumbent upon the General Assembly of Georgia to elect and inaugurate a governor from among the two persons receiving the highest number of votes in life who did not decline the election. The two highest persons in life were myself and Mr. James V. Carmichael, who had previously declined the election. The legislature elected me governor of Georgia by a vote of 161 to 87. I have accepted my election, have taken my oath of office, and am now at my desk attending to the duties of my office. Ellis Arnold am governor of this state. I will continue to remain governor of Georgia until my legal successor, the lieutenant governor, can enter upon the discharge of the executive powers of the state government. I fear no man. I stand alone without the military to defend the Constitution and laws of Georgia and to preserve the rights of the people to see that the man they intended to be governor is installed and that this office is not given to a pretender and a usurper. My contention is that the people elected me Lieutenant Governor of the state of Georgia knowing that I would succeed to the governorship in an emergency which now exists. Also.